Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Ricotta cooking show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite dishes, your favorite food. Today we want to say to you guys, we make the Amanicon porridge. Straight to the point. The Amanicon porridge is totally different from every other S porridge. You know why? Amanicon got a lot of things in it, guys. Special the way you make it, the way it tastes, the way you sweeten it, it's just fantastic. So anyway, Today we make it, and I want to simply say to you, remember one thing, don't forget to leave your comments and donate and get a copy of the cookbook. And guys, subscribe to the channel, don't miss anything. Thank all of the fans that will request to come in the and I get the chance to make it. Now, this is a beautiful and nice. So, we have one thing left to make, is the white cheese sauce, which I'm going to make it very soon. And hopefully guys will like it. So, thank you so much. And hopefully we can come with best, better in the future from Chef Ricardo and the team working very hard. See you next time. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely. So remember I did a video about a month ago talking about we're going to put the Aminicorn porridge on the YouTube channel because I get the request for it. So basically, the way of the Aminicorn porridge, corn look is just like this. All right. Um... How many corn, the grain, if you feel the grain, it's feel different from the other rest of corn. And that's the way the grain look. So basically guys, I want to simply say to you, for you to make the how many corn porridge, it is good. It's two ways you can do it. You could either put um, two cups of how many corn inside of a container and soak into some water from overnight. Or, or you can just cook it in the morning. Wash it off first. I just cook two cups of Amanecon. I like to cook it the, that way. I don't like to soak it overnight. I like to just cook it in the morning. That's me. But some people soak it from overnight, which to me, it doesn't taste the way when I just cook it. You know what I mean? But everyone do their thing different. So that's the way of the Amanecon look. You can get this in the shop to buy supermarket are on the internet lovely so and basically i want to say if you soak it overnight it will take so probably about 45 minutes to cook um if you just cook it natural from the bag it will take probably about an hour and a half to cook and it do split when it cook all right that's the amanecon right here Um, basically, I want to simply say to you, I have a cup of coconut milk and I'm going to pour straight inside of this. Nice and lovely. And I'm going to... Um, add a tablespoon. This is a tablespoon of corn flour inside of the water like this I might just add a pinch more and just simply give it a little mix like this the reason why I put the corn flour in the coconut milk you don't want to use no water inside of it to, to move away the flavor from the corn flour from the yamane corn back in jamaica i used to eat a lot of these guys honestly downtown kingston market <laughs> a holy pipe um basically i'm gonna add a little bit of ola milk roughly half cup of ola milk to it a little bit more half cup of the oil and milk still be fine so if you need to add more corn flour we can always add more lovely so we are gonna use grated not the egg vanilla we don't need to have any cinnamon because I got cinnamon inside of it mixed spice and some sweet condensed milk I have some sweet condensed milk left over Gonna use that to sweeten it. So let's go over on the stove now. Nice. So 
right here as you can see this is the Omnicon the only reason why I had I had a little bit of extra con to it for myself I like the con so you know but if you're gonna just make a little potion you can use two cups of con as I said before so basically this morning what I did I wake up in the morning and I get two cups of the Omnicon and I roughly three quarter this pot of water and put the corn in it and cook it once you see the corn is split you can see that means the corn is cooked nice one and if you can see I have two pieces of cinnamon stick in it and I put a teaspoon of salt in it so I'm gonna add the coconut milk to it just like this Nice one. So what we're gonna do, I might just add a little bit more of the corn flour. To be honest guys, once it tick, that's fine. And you will see exactly what I'm talking about. I just add a little bit more if can flour to it but it's gonna get thick so once it get thick that's it guys to be honest um gonna add some mixed spice got a teaspoon of mixed spice let's put some flavor in it and give it a stir Cause I like my spices, so <laughs> you know, Chef Ricardo don't run for the spice. Cinnamon, all of these things is really good for you guys, to be honest. Spices, cinnamon, and also not the egg. Same thing like cinnamon. Vanilla, two tablespoon. can see this looking lovely so far to be honest guys there's a lot of this my drink downtown Kingston Jamaica look at that beautiful and nice So basically what we're gonna do we're just gonna leave this for another five to six more minutes until it get boiled up because once it get thick that's it nice and lovely so as you can see once it's like this you're good to go guys as you can see thick and looking nice and lovely and that's what you're looking for that thickness and this is a real Jamaican. This is the Jamaican, the heart of Jamaican American porridge. It's a whole heap of this me drink downtown Kingston when I was in Jamaica. I remember when my mom used to take me to the market. This is one of my favorite porridge I used to drink. When I go to market and, and especially on a weekend and a Saturday. Wow. Guys, when I go to the Rasta man, I make them a kind of porridge. Yeah? And I tell you, you know I leave Kingston. Guys, the flavor. You can smell it, tastes lovely, looking nice, and as you can see on my one look, just like downtown Kingston one. So we're gonna sweeten it. Alright? And remember, it's a is a corn flour why it gets so thick and looking lovely. If it's too runny, you can always add a little bit more of the corn flour. So we're gonna sweeten it now. I'm using sweet condensed milk. 
and I'm pouring in it and mix at the moment. And you know, Chef of God will do his thing already. So, as I say, you can sweeten and taste as it goes along, guys. Really nice, as you can see. Jamaican Dominican porridge. A lot of people doesn't know how to make this one, but I'm telling you, this is the video for it today, guys. You can't go wrong with this video. All you need to do, soak it. you can soak it or you can just get it and cook it in the morning. Just look at the porridge. Look at that porridge, guys. Look at the porridge. Just take a good look at this American porridge. It's the best. Let's taste it. Mm -mm. The flavor and the taste. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Tea is so nice. So what we're gonna do? Leave this for another 10 minutes. And then we share it out, alright? So as you can see, this is it. Porridge is done and dusted. So all we gotta do now is just shear it out. How many corn porridge is the best in the world? This one is shear it out now. Alright. Nice one. This is nice. Look at that. The flavor. The richness. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. And the beauty is that you can have it with anything. Bread. Crackers. You name it, guys. Lovely and nice. As you can see, this is a, exactly what Chef Ricardo is all about. How many can purge from Chef Ricardo today in the kitchen? Nice and lovely. So as you can see, exactly where Chef Ricardo is all about with the how many can purge looking so lovely and nice so hopefully you guys like the recipe and subscribe to the channel leave your comments thank you so much for watching chef ricardo cooking show we got a lot more recipe like this coming out for you as you can see i'm in a corn porridge today from chef ricardo see you next time Bye.